When I was about three years old, it was the first time that I've ever consciously experienced the feeling of love. At that time, I was obviously still a kid and I didn't really know what that meant, but that desire to be in a relationship was born within me. And it was so strong that eventually it led me to all the travel adventures that I'm living right now. And how that happened, I'm going to tell you about in today's episode. In 2010, I met the girl of my dreams, and how that all played out is actually pretty magical. So at the time, I was still in Switzerland, and she came there for a musical. The two of us met, and we instantly had this super deep bond that was I just couldn't explain what it was. And a few months later, I packed my bags and I moved to the United States to be with her. And I gotta say, the time I spent with her were some of the best in my entire life, but unfortunately it didn't work out and we eventually broke up. And after that breakup, I was just devastated and had no idea what to do with my life. And just was drifting for a while, just going from place to place, no idea what I wanted to do. And out of nowhere, I had this awesome opportunity to spend some time in Belize to learn how to survive in the jungle. I think that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, then you ready? Ready. I got back from Belize, I just knew that I wanted to travel the world more. So I sold all my things and I booked the ticket to go to Africa. And there I spent a month volunteering at the Nakabanga Conservation Program. So every morning, me and other volunteers get up and we had to take care of various conservation tasks. Some days we would walk for hours, surveying animals, taking notes. Other times we would do the same things, but on cars. And there was very different things we had to do all the time. Other days, we would go to local school and help them fix their gardens. Other times, we would take pickaxes and machetes and cut out these alien plants that were brought in by early settlers that were actually really dangerous for the local animal population.
to like fingerprints. So then, this is like a couple of hours. Hey, okay, so I've speeded up shit. Um, you can imagine, it doesn't take long for that to disappear. After my experiences in Africa, I just knew that this travel lifestyle really had taken a hold of me and that I wasn't going to stop anytime soon. And I could also feel that there were many more adventures right around the corner, which I will tell you about in upcoming episodes. But that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. This was Nomad, out.